And then at what point did you try Indiegogo? What year was it? Um, it was, uh, I think, 2010 we tried Indiegogo because uh, that kind of fundraising had just become popular and we tried every other kind, so we thought, well, why not Indiegogo? So we went and did an Indiegogo campaign and uh, we asked for $15,000 and um, we got it. But I gotta tell you, that was hard money to raise. I think everybody has this notion that you go on Indiegogo and there's hundreds of people out there who want to fund films and no, mostly it's your friends and their friends and it's, re it's intense work. And then you have to give gifts to everybody, you know, everybody does it for perks. And so it's very intensive. So. Did it almost feel like a full-time job? What, oh, whatever? it was a full-time oh, job. Okay. Right. Yes, yes. The Indiegogo campaign took us three months to fulfill everything and to you know to raise all the money and then fulfill all the obligations that we had promised. We had promised people T-shirts and posters and things like that, and then we had to mail all that out. It was it was very intensive. So, do you remember what you did on a daily basis during the actual live campaign? Was it, was it, again, more emails to people and sharing the link? Emails, phone calls. Um, I had a lot of lunches. I met with a lot of people who uh, were interested but wanted to kind of have a personal contact. It's a very personal business, fundraising for something like this. And you never know who's going to lead you to somebody else, you know. You have drinks with somebody and you think they're going to give you $10,000 and they never come through with anything and then three months later they send a friend your way who gives you $10,000. So it's not, it's not a direct science, that's for sure. What would you recommend to another filmmaker who is considering launching a crowdfunding campaign and has a beautiful project? but maybe they don't have the contacts. Maybe they don't know that many people or some of the people that they know aren't able to give. Would you, how would you advise them to gauge what their audience is? You know, I, that's a, a question that I really don't have an answer for. Um, my experience with Indiegogo was very personal to me and I know that the people who gave on Indiegogo were all somehow personally linked to me. Um, I think there's a bit of a fantasy out there right now that you can just go on to uh, Kickstarter or Indiegogo and put your project up there and people will come seeking you. But I don't think that really happens. I think it's really a dirty, down in the dirt, hard, struggle. If somebody knows different than me, I'd like to hear from them. But that's the way I perceive it. Would you advise someone who's maybe failed at crowdfunding to kind of dust themselves off and regroup and try again? Because so many people, I think they become, and understandably, you're hurt, you're upset, hey, my campaign failed, and then you shy away from it. Would you advise people to just get back on the horse and try it again? give it some time. Well, I think uh, any pursuit that you do in life is filled with failures and successes, and you often learn more from your failures than your success. So, um, you know, of course you have to pick yourself up. What else? <laughs> You're going to lie in the dirt the rest of your life? <laughs> it's not an option. Judy, your experience with crowdfunding was back in 2010 when it was still sort of a novelty. Your thoughts now? that it's passed, you were successful, you raised, what, 15000 What's your thoughts on it now that it's passed? Well, the time it took, the intensity of it, I had three people working on it for three months. The $15,000 probably just barely paid our salary during those months, or their salaries, because I didn't take a salary. It paid their salaries during those months and left some money for us to stay operating. I think now, looking back on it, because it might have been fairly new at that time and people weren't familiar with it, we were educating our fan base as to what it was, um, I think my time might have been better used just going knocking on doors the way I had been doing and I probably could have raised at least that much. Uh, maybe today it's different. Maybe people know more about what these crowdfunding sources are and are more willing, but then I, I felt I could have used my time better, frankly.